Hey, hi, I'm Joe Hilscher. I'm a specialist in big data and high performance computing, and I'm here with Arista Networks' uh, Ken Duda, our Chief Technology Officer and Senior VP for Software Engineering. We're here to talk about big data and Hadoop clusters and what Arista does for them. Ken, I've heard you talk about uh, how the Arista EOS based switches are uh, kind of Linux servers in and of themselves. Does that provide any benefit in a, in a Hadoop cluster? Yeah, it's a, it's, the switches are built unlike any other switches on the market. Uh, on the outside, an Arista switch is absolutely looks, feels just like an industry standard switch. If you've got a team of CCIEs, they'll have no trouble uh, taking an Arista, getting on the CLI, configuring it up. Looks and feels very familiar. But under the hood, an Arista switch is actually a Linux server with a big PCI device for forwarding packets real fast and layer 2-3 control plane running as daemon processes. What this means is that a Arista switch is much more familiar to a server administrator than a lot of switches from other vendors, meaning that it's possible, if one wants to run one's network this way, to manage an Arista switch with a lot of the tools that you're already familiar with for managing servers. Tools like MRTG and Nagios, uh, like Ganglia, Chef, Puppet, uh, are all things that can run on an Arista switch. And uh, you can log in and get a shell, run VMstat, TCP dump, uptime, free. Uh, a lot of familiar and standard tools are, are available, both from the networking community and also from the Linux server community. So it can feel more familiar and feel um, more manageable than, uh, than switches from other vendors. Do you want to uh, tell us a little bit about some of the customers that are uh, implementing big data applications uh, over Arista networks and what some of the challenges are that they're running into as they get involved in this new class of apps? Yes, absolutely. A Hadoop computation runs at the beat of the slowest drummer. Mm -hmm. If just one server is affected adversely by congestion, that one server becomes slow. And that stretches out the time for the entire computation. What we're finding is that when they try to scale out their clusters, they run into severe performance problems. One of, one of the main places the challenges arise from is the amount of, of communication through the, the fabric of one of these networks. And sometimes, lots of data is trying to enter one point of the network all at the same time. At that point of entry, buffering is required in the switches. And um, many of the mainstream devices in the market have buffering designed for workgroups, not for big data applications. And most switches, you receive basically no visibility at all into buffering until there's actually a drop. We developed a feature called LANs, or Latency Analyzer. And you might think, well, what does latency have to do with, with big data? Well, the way Latency Analyzer works is it pays uh, very careful attention to the amount of buffering that's being required by your workload on the network. The network administrator can set a threshold, a point at which the switch will send an alert, so you, so you get plenty of early warning into whether or not there are queuing problems in your network and uh, before the applications are actually impacted. So Ken, are there some other features that we have today that will help make operations lives easier when they're dealing with network clusters like Hadoop? We have a feature called Zero Touch Provisioning that enables our customers to deploy a new rack or a new row of equipment, um, send it to their data center, have the remote hands, plug in the power, plug in the uplinks, and walk away. And from there on out, all of the provisioning of the network is 100% automated. Then once your switches are all installed, you may want to make a configuration change across all of the switches, or you might want to upgrade them all to a new version of switch firmware. And for those operations, we have a CloudVision multi-switch command line interpreter that makes it easy for the administrator to issue the same command or the same set of commands across a whole family of, of related switches. And this, these sorts of um, operational conveniences can have a, a big impact on how much work it takes to run a good-sized Hadoop cluster. Don't, don't some of those clusters run full-time? Uh, running their applications for days at a time obviously means there's not a great time to go in and do that kind of reconfiguration uh, to the clusters. Correct. What do you do in those cases? Well, we have um, a system called multi-chassis link aggregation that enables you to take two switches, and they behave as though they're a single switch. Then you can upgrade one switch while the other keeps your cluster in service, once the upgrade is complete, there's a handoff, and you can upgrade the first switch and wind yourself up in a state where uh, both switches have the new software without any interruption in service to your application. So, Ken, thanks for talking to us about big data and Arista networks, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you next time about new technologies. My pleasure, Joe. Thank you.